G'day there. Um, this is a tip for those who want to find out how to um, paint the outside of a terracotta pot or a concrete pot. Uh, they made of concrete, um, unusual shape. As you can see, very rough finish on the inside. The outside was rough. I've just given this a sand with a little hand sander. Um, but the very jagged edges in here for concreting is very rough finish. Obviously imported uh, uh, concrete pot. Don't need to show you that. This is going to be very long and narrow. If you're doing long pots and things like that, this is a spider web, a spider web uh, cleaner up around the ceilings and skirtings. But that'll do just fine. Dip it in your sugar soap. This sort of stuff here. It's uh, pretty harmless sort of stuff. Or it's not the ants pants sugar soap. It'll do, give it a good scrub in there, just to get any chemicals. Obviously, there's going to be chemicals in here. Right. Now, the trusty old uh, water pressure cleaner. All we're trying to do is just get rid of any loose, loose uh, material in there, especially leftover material from your brushes or anything else that might be in there that's going to get stuck in your waterproofing. And to give the waterproofing the best chance to stick because it's so important you put one coat on after it's dry and second coat after after that one dries and then um, uh, you have some, some keep your hands away or wear gloves because this will happen it'll take some skin off your hand that happened a few days ago when I was distracted cleaning a driveway um, and do the surface spend some time and sam and water bath yourself Use the soft sand block wrapped in a bit of sandpaper, gets around the edges. Do that last to finish off. Start off with one of these. This is the hand drill, you need to go slow so no great revs. Little contraption that puts in there inside the drill and, you, and expands and grabs onto the uh, sandpaper. You can get those little things, they're pretty cheap. You get them in kits usually. Go around the edges like that. All the this is the type of plant that's going to go in it. It's a cone. Top area, uh, which is a uh, this one's called hot flush, appropriately named, which is um, just a, a lily pilly. Um, they're about uh, I think 70 bucks they were. Uh, still 40 degrees out here, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. These are drying okay. I want to show you the, um, the waterproofing material. It was 22 bucks from uh, Master, Master Home Improvements at Woolworths competition of Bunnings um, quite a go but this one's a clear one as I say you can get black and sandstone color and another color about 18 hours to dry and all that heat last night so it's no problem at all ready for our um, waterproofing um, small brush um, as you can imagine it's a long way down to the bottom I'll show you right now an easy trick to uh, to get to the bottom and all the sides because we've got to put two coats so we're gonna make it a bit easier for ourselves and there's a hacksaw and a small brush you cut with a hacksaw, the India brush off. Long reachable brush off for inside. Okay, so I uh, put some gloves on. I hate uh, handling this, these type of uh, chemicals, regardless of what they say. Plus it clean ups a lot easier afterwards. Give it a good dip in. Doesn't matter how messy you are with this thing. And voila, it's um, going on very easily on the concrete. Concrete's very porous. Um, make sure you've got a soapy rag hanging around just to do the rim because you, that's where you're going to put your paint around the outside here. You don't want a very liberal amount of, of this stuff in there. And that's how much you used out of a, out of a uh, what's this, half litre. After um, 24 hours, this um, becomes very soft as a film, the waterproofing. But as you can see, we've left it seven days now to so it can cure before we put any paint on it, let alone any soil in there. And it becomes a little bit more brittle, but still very flexible. It's got plenty of good properties left in it for as a membrane. To do the two pots, we're actually going to do three pots. We're going to use Solar Guard. Uh, it's self primed, outdoor paint. Um, so therefore it's going to be your undercoat and your finishing coats all in one. 15 litres, $180, as opposed to buying 4 litres at a time. 
it's uh, far more economical. Your brush, $2 brush with a tray, cheap as chips, get the brush. Don't forget with these uh, rollers is to uh, put them soapy water and give it a good scrub to get all the lint material as much as you can off it, especially off the cheap brands. Stirring the paint, make sure you got a good stirrer on the end of your drill. A big 15 litres is going to need it. You can't do it by hand properly. Yeah. Of course, an old tip is to, in between your coats, get some cling wrap, of bad wrap, whatever you like, some sort of wrap. Cover your brushes. Keep the air off it. That's all you got to do. Same with your roller, put it around your roller. In position, wait for the top of the area just to be planted now. Oh. Fill up that level. Fill it up. Use this stick to create. Got a level down. We got two plants, two toppy areas. Put the mulch in the top. Completed.